I just went as hard as I physically could. I gave my whole soul to my business. Those hardships that happen build resilience for when the next hardship happens. It's all very well having a great idea, starting a business, and then off you go. But one of the things that gets affected pretty quickly is your mental health. Now, I know when I started at 32 years old with three little kids at home that I just went as hard as I physically could. I didn't see my friends. I didn't do my normal fitness. I didn't see my friends. I didn't have time socially. I was not doing the exercise. I wasn't even eating very well. So pretty much for eight years, I gave my whole soul to my business and then squished my family and my husband in there somewhere. So how do you manage that as a business owner or even in life? You know, what I learned was that and how, how I worked was I ran it through my diary because what you tend to do is that you get up in the morning and your email sucks you in and you just answer all these questions and you, you solve all these problems, the day finishes, you stop and then you start again and you're on this hamster wheel. So I think it's really important that you block out time in your diary for you. So for me right now, I make sure that I don't have any meetings before 11 o'clock. So my mornings start with things that give me joy and that's getting into the ocean, going for a surf. Uh, it's making sure that I have a laugh with girlfriends. It's making sure that I am fit and I do exercise because the endorphins from that helps my mental health. And then I get into into my work and, and you know, get into the rhythm then. So mental health is something that is unique for everyone. The most important thing you need to find for yourself is what is your coping mechanism. So you need to answer that. Now sit down and find out what that is for you. So for me, it was hanging out with the girlfriends. For me, it's jumping in the ocean. Yours could be you know, simply being quiet under a tree. It's all completely different for everyone. Like some people would go, the last thing I need is jumping in the ocean where there's sharks. That is not good for my mental health. In actual fact, that would stress me out. So you've got to find out what's good for you. When I first started Boost and started in my working career, mental health wasn't a thing. I know it was a thing, it existed, but no, people were like, get over it, you know, you know just you know, build resilience. And it wasn't even something that we spoke, spoke about. So it's now great that it's something that is on our radar. And there's genuinely mental health where you do need medical um, assistance, but also don't wallow in it. You know, it's important that you acknowledge that you're having a bad day or you're having the, the, the dark, the black dogs chasing you. But instead of just wallowing in it, actively source ways of getting out of it. Because quite often it's triggered by a health issue or a, a negative event. And it's hard to get out of that big, dark cloud, but you have to actively pursue either fitness, ocean, sunshine, nature to actually find it. So, which you also need to understand that those hardships that happen build resilience for when the next hardship happens. I'm not an expert on it, I don't claim to be, but I'm just letting you know what helped me in my a mental health journey. Go to the comments below and ask me a question and I will regularly answer those questions. So subscribe below, ask a question and I'm there for you.